Hello, my name is Terence Young. We're here at Gensler in Santa Monica. We'd like to invite you to come in and take a look. Gensler uh, is a worldwide design company. In short terms, we do architecture and interior design. But uh, when you really start looking at the problem of designing, we design everything. We, uh, there are studios within Gensler that design um, information graphics. There are people that design um, um, you know, doorknobs, furniture, lamps. Um, all the way up to uh, in entire airports and cities, master planning. So uh, we look at the design problem from the very, very micro to the macro. Uh, there's also uh, consulting, brand strategy, um, other creative fields, uh, marketing, graphic design, pretty much covers anything you could possibly design. It started out as a small single office in San Francisco with one client. Um, now we are in 13 countries, close to 3,000 people. More people enter into Gensler spaces either for work or play or travel than any other design firm. We design um, airports, um, we design office buildings, we design um, large mixed-use entertainment um, uh, complexes. Um, we have the tallest building in Shanghai under construction. We're, we're renovating the Terminal 2 at San Francisco. There's another project that I think stands out and that is the uh, uh, Fallen Police Officers uh, Memorial at the new um, Los Angeles um, uh, Police Academy. And within the organization, we created a competition and said we're soliciting ideas for this, this memorial. What should we do? And there were massive amounts of submissions and then we pinned them all up and everybody, you know, talked about them, we presented to the office and, and, then, and then, you know, we sort of voted within the office. What basically ended up happening was um, a really wonderful sculptural piece was generated out of that mass thinking. The creative arts are the, are the basis of, every, of everything we do here and um, I actually don't feel like I've accomplished anything at all if I haven't drawn something. I have to draw something and it, it's not, it, it, it can just be, you know, a stupid sketch. But um, the fact is, is that, uh, you know, you're continually either drawing something to give form to an idea or you're sketching a diagram in order to explain a process or you're designing or you're drawing something to communicate an idea to your teammates. And that's what's really important about um, about an organization like this is that no one designs anything on their own. It is a, a collaborative effort and it comes from communicating your ideas through pencils, through ink, through you know all, all this stuff back there. We choose very carefully. The idea is that the, the portfolio will tell you um, how a person thinks, you know, how well do they communicate because in the end uh, working on a project, you need to be able to communicate those ideas clearly both to your team members as well as to a potential client in the future, right? I look for inventiveness, creativity, and communication skills. But the key role of the design director is to say that this place is about design. My name is Diane Kraus. I work for Gensler and I'm an interior designer. I design the interiors of hotels and I'm designing the interior space as well as selection of finished materials and furniture, fabrics and lighting. Well, I went to school um, at University of Oregon. I've always been interested in the arts as a kid. I was drawing and painting, so it was kind of, I guess, a natural thing. And I went into architecture school and um, I also did fine arts, so I did a double major and I focused in on interior architecture. So we learned history, furniture history, color theory was emphasized, lighting was emphasized, as well as just spatial design. So my background and then with the fine arts, I sort of infused it with a lot of different um, aspects of design that way too. So that has helped me clearly for where I am today because I always use those tools and those that think I'm just more sensitive I really think that I pay attention to detail differently and I'm aware and I look at things I think from a different perspective because I've seen from that 
from that aspect of it, whether it was painting or sculpture or photography, all of that has helped me see space better. A lot of projects um, that I've done, some that are really great are the historical ones where you get to do some really great research and find out what it originally was and then how now you're gonna bring it to modern times. I've been honored to work on a Frank Lloyd Wright project, which I mean, how cool is that? I mean, to be able to do that is pretty awesome. So um, trying to get into his head and what he was thinking when he was doing it, and then what would he do today? I brought it all the way back to historical patterns and designs that Frank Lloyd Wright had done, but I kind of did them differently because now it was like a modern twist on the historical design because you really can't copy his works. My big thing is tension and drama, and how I get that is through scale, proportion, color, and texture. I think you have to persevere. I think you have to be passionate about design or interiors. I think you have to totally love it because it's not always easy, but I think if, if it's in you and you love it, it's fine. You'll, be, you'll do great. Thanks for coming in letting us uh, show you around. If you'd like to learn more about what we do, look at www.gensler.com and stay inspired.